Hey boys and girls, welcome to tonight's flip video. We are going to be talking all about addition and subtraction. Tonight's video is going to be uh, addition and subtraction in the standard form, and then uh, tomorrow we'll talk about it in expanded form. So, I am in the market for a new car, because I need to get one in the upcoming future, and I was doing some research this weekend. I found out that Corvette, which is like my all-time favorite type of car, cost $55,470, and a Corolla, which I got to drive um, a couple times and I liked it, cost $13,299. So I was curious, how much more does the Corvette cost than the Corolla? So I'll have to set this up, um, and remember we are doing traditional this time. So 55470 and it, because it says how much more, I know I'm going to be subtracting. And so I do 13,299 directly underneath. From there, I need to start subtracting. Now my problem immediately that I'm running into is that I can't take nine away from zero because if I have nothing, I can't take anything away from that. So then I have to do some exchanging of my place values so I'm able to do that. So I would go to the seven and I would break, uh, get a group of 10 from there so that would be brought down to 6, and then this would be expanded into 10. So now I can subtract. So 10 minus 9 would give me 1. Then when I go to the next place value, the 10's place, I run into that same problem. I cannot take 9 from 6 because if I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I don't have enough, you know, I, I can't take 9 away from there. So then I'm going to have to exchange place values, so I'm going to take a group of 10, from my hundreds place, bringing that one down to a three, and add it to that six, uh, the group of 10 to the six to make that 16. Now 16 minus nine would be seven. Three minus two, I have no issue there because if I do have three, I can take two away right there. You leave me a, a difference of one. Five minus three is two, and then five minus one is four. Now I'm not done yet because I need to check to make sure that my answer is correct. So to check to make sure that my answer is correct, I am going to take these bottom two numbers and I'm going to add them and I should come up with my top number. So I, some students like to rewrite it as a different problem. I find it's a little bit easier if I just write it underneath. So I have my difference right there and I'm going to add 13,299. Now 1 plus 9 will give me 10, but I can't write 10 like this because we can only have one digit in each place value. So I'm going to write it where I would put the 1's place down and I would carry up the 10's place. So 1 plus 7 would give me 8, plus 9 would give me 17. Might have been easier to do 1 plus 9 gives me 10, plus 7 gives me 17. But either way, I have to do the same kind of thing. The 1's place value comes down and I carry up my tens place value. So 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 would give me 4. No carrying of place values have to be done there. 2 plus 3 is 5. Uh, 4 plus 1 is 5. Now I need to check to make sure this number matches with my top number. So 55,000, 55,000, 470, 470. Now I know I'm correct. Now I have no excuse to be wrong. So that's my, uh, that matched up there, which makes this my final answer and I know I'm going to be correct. Moving into my next problem, let's say I decide to buy the Corolla. And so on Monday I drive 633,600 yards, which is about a couple hundred miles, and the next day I drive only 25,765 yards. How far have I driven in all? Pause your video at this moment, solve that problem, and then unpause it when you've completed it so we can go through it together. All right, so hopefully by this point you have solved your problem. First thing you need to determine, is this going to be addition or is it going to be subtraction? I know it's going to be addition because I've got my clue words right here in all, which would let me know that I'm doing uh, addition. So I have 633,600 plus 25,765 making sure that I am lining it up so my two is not under my hundreds place value. My place values need to be lined up. So zero plus five, pretty straightforward there. Five, zero plus six, 
is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. Well, I can't, as I said in the previous part of this video, I need to make sure that my place values are correct. So my 3 stays down because that's in my 1's place, and I carry out my 10's place. So 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 5 would give me 9, 3 plus 2 gives me 5, and 6 by itself brings down. So I'm done now, correct? Incorrect. I'm not done because I need to check it. Just to show you what that looks like if you rewrite it because I have a little bit more room, I would take my answer, my sum, and I would rewrite it, and I would, this time I'd be subtracting because I'm. you always do the opposite. So I subtract this. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. 3 minus 7, well, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to run into an issue there. I don't have 7 to take away. So I need to exchange a place value, bringing that down to a 9. My group of 10, making that a 13. 13 minus 6 is, or 13 minus 7 is 6. 8 minus 5 is 3. 2 minus, or 5 minus 2 is 3. And 6 matches. So now I'm looking to make sure this number matches with this number. 633,000, 633,000, 600, 600. So then I know I am correct. So that about does it for this video, boys and girls. Uh, what I'll need you to do is this is your bring back to school problem, where I'm going to say that if Mr. B paid $3,338 for gas in 2015 and $7,849 in 2016, how much more did he pay in 2016? So that wraps it up. Make sure you are checking. When I'm checking your work, I'm going to see that you have your problem and your check problem. So, as always, if you need to, rewind the video to review. But if not, I'll see you in the morning.